Welcome back to another X4 Foundations Cradle of Humanity video. Today we're going to take a look at the maintenance duty mission. This is part of the Terran Protectorate opening storyline. There will be spoilers as we're going to just kind of look at the mission. There'll be some atmospheric parts of the video, some music. We'll see what happens during the mission. I'll talk a little. Try to have some fun, try to make it interesting. We'll see if I, I succeed. But maintenance duty is an interesting mission because it gives you the first glimpse of a very familiar uh, station that uh, you may have know from other starts. So if you uh, don't want to know any of that yet, this might not be the video to watch, but this is the video um, that will help get you to research and other such systems so it is uh like i think four or five missions into the terran protectorate i am flying around in my katana very nice ship did a video on that a little bit ago and you know i didn't explore much yet so i need to explore some i'm gonna cut over to after i explore but we're gonna do a little uh atmospheric too so see you in a minute. Okay, we have found uh, the ship we need to dock with in the Oberth in Neptune, I think. Neptune's really cool looking. There's a nice big blue planet. It's very nice looking. Getting a message here from Dr. Freeman. There it is. There's Neptune. But I made a critical mistake here, which you'll see. Yeah, so I'm in a Katana, which is M-Class ship, and M-Class ship is not able to dock. And I'm not, this M-Class ship does not have a ship bay. So, yep, I need to bring home a uh, S-Class ship to be able to dock. So the good doctor here wants me to bring him some illegal technology. I don't know about good doctor then, but it's kind of a neat mission. I do have the AGI processors on board already. So if I was able to land, I could. But uh, I'm going to go visit the, uh, the black market anyway. Just because it's kind of cool. See what else they have. And interesting to show that it's there. So we're going to head on over there and check it out. All right. We have arrived at the station. Now, I expect there's just a, a room here that's been generated that allows me to... Uh, find the black market thing so we'll go ahead head over to the escalator I gotta check out the scale first always amazing looking all right and we've got a bar it's always where the cd people hang out so we'll go over to the bar 
Where is our contact? Where are you? Oh, there you are. I guess it's the bartender. The bartender has a bunch for sale, which is interesting. It's always good to pick up the containers needed for the EMPs. But uh, yeah, so they got a bunch for sale. And you can also buy other illicit goods from this guy, like space fuel and things like that. If you are in that kind of business, I would certainly never be involved in such a business. So we're going to go ahead and load up on things that we might need, <laughs> including buy some more processors here. I could also sell some things here. Because I really don't need many of the uh, decryption stuff. I find them marginally useful. Sometimes I use them. Sometimes I, if, I, if I really need them. But most of the time I don't find I need them. And the Terran police are all over me in this game. So it's, it's a bit of a pain if I'm flying the ship myself. So we'll go ahead and get this and then head on back to our contact okay so I did I brought in a gladius we both docked at a station I switched over to the gladius and then I came back to our, our contact here at the Oberth and number C for Crouch someone on the forum on the comments told me that thank you so I don't have to walk all the way around Get a little motion sickness out here on the deck while all these things are moving around. So, got to get inside. And now we'll go talk to the, the doctor since we can park. Got to always check people's stats, see if there's someone I could try to get. Here we go. Okay, a little cutscene. Now we're uh, going off to for their experiment. It's kind of weird camera angle. I'm not sure if that was the whole intended cutscene or not, but we are definitely somewhere else. Where has the good doctor taken us? Ah, this reminds me of the uh, Sejeris start, that planet. There's a gate in front of us, too. I got a feeling that the doctor here has some more tasks for me to do. Yes. Apparently, I am on satellite repair detail. Very exciting stuff. So we're in, I think, Brennan's Triumph, I think that was. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to go off and repair some satellites.
satellite repair is done. Remember, you too can learn how to do satellite repair right from your home. I wonder how many of you are old enough to remember those commercials. Gun repair. <laughs> um, medical filing, I think it was. All sorts of crazy stuff. So let's go see what happens now. A nice look of the ship from the external. Inch, nice little radar thing on top of it. Or whatever that is. And look at that. Now off in the distance. Looks very familiar. We've, that is the player HQ. But different. So the uh, oh, Ego, the way Egosoft did it was the Terrans get to the player HQ from their perspective instead of just doing the same missions the other game starts to do. And they mentioned in the other game starts that they might be Bozo mentioned it might be a, a Terran facility. Like, I hope it's not a Terran facility. I guess it was. We'll see. All right, we have our next mission, but we will cover that the next time. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.